queries show data as characters. Typically, you think of characters as being letters of words or numbers in values. Characters can also be blocks, lines, and other symbols. This means that graph-like results can be achieved using a calculated field that displays a string of symbols whose length varies depending on other values. This opens a whole new world of easily visualizing data with text. Hi, this is Crystal. Being able to choose symbols from Unicode's rich set of characters enables graphics to be displayed using queries. Create a new query. From the Create ribbon, choose Query Design. You have a blank canvas on which to paint. Drag or add wherever the data comes from to the upper pane of the query. I'm using a table, but you will probably have a query. Resize and reposition field lists. Change the size of windows. Show the data sheet view of where data comes from and the design view of the query you are building. If you see tabs, not windows, that you can move and resize, you can change the access defaults. Choose File, Options, Current Database, and then Set the document window options to overlapping windows. In the query design view, double click category and my value in the field list to add them to the grid of what will be displayed. I like to resize columns on the grid when I think I might need more space. To select multiple columns, move the mouse to the little gray area above a column then click and drag to other columns. Let go of the mouse and then move the right boundary of one of the selected columns in the header area. When you see the double-headed resizing arrow, double-click to best fit, just like in Excel. The third field will be calculated and it will need more space. To make the column wider, just click and drag on the right boundary in the column header area. Press Ctrl F2 to launch the Expression Builder. Starting in the middle, let's calculate the number of repetitions first. cint is short for Convert to Integer, a built-in function that rounds the expression enclosed in parentheses to a whole number. There can't be half and quarter characters, so doing this makes sense even though it may not be necessary for simple formulas. In the Expression Builder, as you type, IntelliSense jumps in and helps. There is no division, multiplication, or other operations, but there could be. Those of you who are observant will notice that a closing parenthesis is missing for the cint function. Ideally, I would stop at this point and test the calculation so far. And if I did that, I would see the parenthesis error. The number of repetitions will be wrapped with the string function, so go to the beginning and create some space. As the string function name is typed, IntelliSense shows what matches so far. To select the highlighted choice, press Tab. After the string function name is an open parenthesis to surround the arguments. Go to the end and create more space. Since extra space doesn't matter and it helps to show what is going on better. Type a comma to signify the end of the first parameter, the number of repetitions. IntelliSense shows me that it still thinks it is in the expression for cint. Ah, I see that a closing parenthesis for cint is missing. OK, add the parenthesis and then a comma. The second parameter for string is the character to repeat. The decimal Unicode for the upper half block character is 9600. Easy to remember, especially considering how many Unicode characters there are. 
The CHR function shows the character for a decimal ASCII code. CHRW is a wide variation for a decimal Unicode. Anything before a colon in the beginning is the calculated field name, which will be the graph. The final equation is the graph colon string open parenthesis cint open parenthesis my data dot my value close parenthesis comma chrw open parenthesis 9600 close parenthesis close parenthesis look at the data sheet view and resize the graph column bars yay and this is a query now to add some color. Go back to the design view, click in the column and set the format property to open square bracket blue close square bracket at sign. The color name is in square brackets. It can be black, blue, green, cyan, red, magenta, yellow, or white. The at symbol signifies that the value is text. Save the query as QGraph. If this was a real case, it would be good to add more to the name to indicate what data is being graphed. The data sheet view now shows a bar graph for every record. And even though the graph is not precise to the penny, the visual is cool. Thanks for joining me. Through sharing, we will all get better.